Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and welcome to the last video of 2021. I don't know about you guys, but like thinking about the fact that this is the last video of 2021, that 2022 is literally three days away. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of insane. We got here. I don't know how we did, but we did. And so today I'm going to do my annual mood board slash like 2022 year planning video. And so I just, I just wanted to announce something real quick. If you guys don't know, I have a brand. It's called Bull Planners where I sell digital planning tools, digital planning goods, if you will, templates, planners. And so I just want to tell you guys, I have a 2022 planner uh released so i have their digital by the way i don't know if i mentioned that i have a daily planner and a weekly planner so that's on my website it'll be linked down below and with this video i figured something that i could sell to people who don't necessarily use ipads or like use digital planning methods i would sell some printable templates and so what i thought about doing was a goal getter pack so basically it contains five different templates and so it's the mood board template the um, quarterly planner template then we have the monthly overview template the project planner template as well as the manifestation cheat sheet and so I created those tools because I was like they're easy they're printable you don't need to print a thousand of them for them to work they allow you to like plan accordingly I don't know about you and they are the kind of templates that I prefer to have in a printed version the most I would say we all need a little bit of a reset it retails for $12 like the whole pack retail for $12 and you can use it for literally the rest of your life. They're PDF files and so you can have them and have them forever. So I was just like, you know what? I just think this is a really, really great idea. I just think this is a really, really like, it's a nice little thing to do. And I think it's such a nice thing to start the year out with. So I just wanted to announce that to you guys. And so that will also be linked in the description box down below so you guys can have easy access to it. The first step of today's video is going to be reviewing the 2021 mood board. So we're gonna kind of speak around through all the things that were on my mood board and then I'm also maybe gonna like give you a few of my thoughts about how the year went. One of the quotes I have was comparison is the fastest way to take all the fun out of life. I will always stand by that. Um, was I better about not comparing myself to others? I don't know. I think I was better. Was I great? No. This one, this one was to signify balance for me, equilibrium if you will and I feel like I have done a really really good job at that is it perfect no i don't think any of these are perfect but they are here next is kind of like a transcript of my <laughs> of my school stuff and like my gpa and things and i'm going to say that this year for me academically was by far one where i've made so many efforts to be the best and to study the best and i have learned so many things I have learned so many things about how to study and how I study best but I'm going to keep this in my 2022 mood board because although um, some goals were reached some are left to be reached um, I had all my social media goals um, let's see if I reached any I don't think I've reached any of my social media goals but I always love like aiming higher than I should like it's it's always better to aim higher than to aim lower and so although I don't necessarily reach them all the time I'm always is very happy to have them by the way um, most of the quotes are from Jen Sincero's book the other quote was when we're happy and all in love with ourselves we can't be bothered with the bullshit our own or other people's and I really I really I really like that and I think that's something I've done really well this year it was just not care next was a vacuum right um I wrote on here clean environment because I did want a vacuum but I also wanted to live in a clean environment and I've been able to do this with my room and I also got a vacuum for Christmas so I mean listen good things happen to those who ask and create a mood board but yeah the one thing i haven't been able to like keep up was like the clean beauty space this is gonna come back in a certain way in the 2022 planner i'm not gonna lie this is my first year being unemployed i don't know how we did with the money i'll be honest oh my god this is such a funny thing so i put this dress this is from Tuda Matoshi, but basically this dress, I put this on my mood board because I wanted to make a dress because I got a sewing machine last year and so I wanted to make a dress and I didn't get to make this princess dress and I do not think, I genuinely don't think I'm ready even now to make a dress like this, but I did make a yellow dress this summer like out of fabric, thread and my machine. 
So I mean, we kind of did make a dress, not bad. One of my favorite pastimes is going through houses and looking up houses on the market because I want to buy a $3 million home and that's that. And this was my dream home uh, this year until they sold it halfway through the year. But it's such a beautiful home. The inside was so stunning. I, I honestly, I loved it. Um, I got my MacBook Pro, thank God. This is the desk that is right here. This desk from Ikea, this is the Skarsta desk. When I tell you I had to bend over backwards to get this because bitch the entire world has the biggest issue with keeping this table in stock like everyone was buying it because it's a sit stand desk which is obviously something that everyone wants and i understand because i clearly i bought it so i understand why people want it but i had to bend over backwards for this okay this is also really funny because i put a planner because i wanted to be more diligent about my planning and to be more respectful of what i plan and then i started my planner company this year which was never something i considered or like thought i was gonna do but i did it that is absolutely insane same to me i'm so happy about that that was to uh signify travel nothing happened um i have decided to give up on the whole traveling thing for now because i'm like nothing is happening anyways so we might as well not do it you know then i have this other quote which is the universe will match whatever vibration you put out and you can't fool the universe I was trying to be more positive and so I think I was able to do that. If you guys don't know, Planoli is an app that I use to plan out my Instagram and Pinterest posts. I have been using this app religiously the whole year, allowing me to be more consistent with my social media and I'm not even going to lie, this has made the biggest difference in my life. I love it. Last but not least, this is the uh, driver's license. It has Thor on it, which is so extra cute. I really like this one. I discovered this year that I was terrified of driving, so I didn't get my driver's license, but I did kind of like, I got better. I'm gonna say 2021 was a good year for me. I think it was a good year for me because I developed a lot of skills this year, whether it be academically or social media wise or just in general in my day-to-day -day life. I developed a lot of skills. I picked reading right back up, which I honestly had been missing so bad. I've been someone who I, I think was more true to herself, was more vocal about what she wants and what she doesn't want and i think that for that i need to get my flowers i need to give myself my flowers and to understand how good this has been for me you know what i mean and um, although there were some things this year that honestly made me want to crumble and i'm I'm gonna bleed that out because YouTube doesn't like that word. I still, I still, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for everything that happened this year. Everything that happened this year helped me like achieve something like better, further, I don't know. And so I'm grateful. Now I'm gonna crumble all of this and we're gonna move on to the next year. Let's talk about the um, new things, new pictures. First, we have the year, it's 2022. And so I, I you know, it's 2022. I don't know what else to expect from me. I'm gonna tell you the goals. Listen, they might be reached. The goal is to reach them, but I wanna hit 10K on Instagram. So oh, you're not gonna be able to see these very well, are you? I wanna reach uh, 3K on Twitter. By the way, my Twitter, girl, I got suspended like last year, literally a year ago, I think. I got suspended and I was just like, what did I do? Like I barely, like speak up on Twitter. Like I'm a very like chill person on Twitter. You wanna know why? Cause I been like, I was posting like makeup tutorials with sound and it was like copyrighted videos, which aren't necessarily copyrighted on TikTok or Instagram, but on Twitter they are. And so that's great. I wanna hit 50K on YouTube. Is that ambitious? It might be, I don't care. I told y'all I always aim higher. Cause like, that's cool. I wanna hit one fifty k on TikTok. Is that ambitious? Yes it is, of course it is. On my mood board, usually every year, I always put at least like one big thing I wanna purchase. And this year I wanna purchase a light panel because I've been having a lot of difficulty because my ring light, the one I'm using, like right now I look good, but whenever I'm at my makeup station and maybe those are camera settings I have to like work around, the lighting is always too cold and makes me look washed out. Whereas these, you can really like tailor the shade of the lighting so it doesn't have to be too yellow, it doesn't have to be too white, but so it can be like more of like a natural lighting situation. And so I do want this, uh, this is like my kind of big purchase of 2022, I presume. We got a little skincare, like skincare pots. Things. The reason why I put this in is because this year I don't want to try as much skincare. This year I really want to like get like a good skincare routine that works really well for me. 
because my skin like i had just such a bad moment with my skin this year i was like never again this is actually a picture of me this is a picture of me at ikea that my dad took once we went and it's basically me standing in an ikea kitchen right and i have again this obsession with owning a home and having a house when i saw this kitchen i was like oh that is so pretty and so i went to stand and i was like oh dad look at me like i'm standing in my kitchen and my dad was like oh my god let me take a picture and it's just it was kind of like it's so stupid isn't it like it's kind of stupid but it was such a magical moment for me to just have the pictures of me in the kitchen and i love these pictures so much i love the way i was dressed i love the way i was standing i love how i'm standing in my kitchen and I just love this picture so much and I just want so much of that energy into my life and so I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna keep that it's such a like it's such a good picture for me I love it my financial goals I'm not gonna show y'all cuz I don't know how how I'm gonna reach that yet but we'll figure it out I strongly believe in myself <sighs> the driver's license the freaking driver's license am I sitting on something the driver's license it's I'm, I'm actually putting the limit like for the past two years. I was like, it's not necessary But I would like to get it no, no. in 2022 if I don't get my driver's license I need to be slapped across the face because there is no way I'm not getting that license I know I'm terrified, but there is no way I'm not getting it. This says spaced repetition on it Spaced repetition has been for me the best way to study and I want to do it better I want to do it better because I did it pretty well last semester But I want to do it better and better and better and better because when I use this I get crazy fucking good grades and I was like no we need to be doing space repetition all day every day i have goals for my brand i'm also not gonna necessarily show these because you know there's that i okay this is really interesting this is the bel control creole multilingual dictionary i want to speak creole because i understand creole very well obviously when i grew up both my parents were speaking creole all the time but i i, I don't like speaking it because i have like a trashy accent but that i need to get over that fear because if i never speak it because i think i have a trashy accent i'm gonna forget it and i like am i not gonna teach my kids creole like of course i am so i need to like I really like that's a goal for 2022 i really want to make sure i speak real much more and just like be better about it so that's a goal i told y'all cleaning was gonna come back okay because this beauty room this beauty space cannot stay the way that it is forever it can't like right now it's pretty clean is it i think it is right now it's pretty clean i need to keep it that way i need to keep it that way i need to keep it that way and the reason why i put this instead of the vacuum is because i'm pretty good with the vacuuming and like picking things up but i want to clean things like use some lysol some windex and clean things i went on google and i like literally wrote finance and i took the prettiest cutest little image i want to manage my finances more which by the way if you don't know in my 2022 planners there is a financial monthly tracker so you can do that i want to like manage that more i want to be more responsible about the money that i spend be more conscious about the money that i spend it doesn't mean restricting everything i buy it doesn't mean never buying something that i want it means just being more responsible about it because i am broke mona Catan uh perfume collection you're probably like really this is so specific Mona Catan, she is literally, literally, like she has a perfume collection of a store. I don't want a perfume collection like that. When I put this picture, it doesn't mean that I want a perfume collection like that. But I want to be more like, like I know so much about perfume from working like beauty retail for three years. I want to be a little more conscious about the perfumes that I wear. Like sometimes, especially because of the pandemic, I'll be forgetting to put on perfume because I never leave my house. And like, it, I don't smell bad, but I just want to smell good. You know what I mean? And it's also one of the reasons why I like scent burn. Like I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get good perfume. Like I could just get little perfumes and you get to try out so many. And I just, I really, I want to be like more of like a sensorial person. I want when you meet me, I want it to be a sensory experience. Does that make sense? I want to continue reading because I've been reading a lot more this year and I just love reading so much. So I want to do that. Okay. I put two uh, outfit pictures which are coincidentally like green outfit pictures that's not necessarily what I mean but the same way I'm a colorful person in my makeup I like color in clothing and I want to express myself more through my clothing because I feel like my whole life I've just been more of a makeup girl always and the thing is like you can be a makeup girl but I also want to be a clothing girl and I want to not be scared to wear what I want to wear right this is bread I know you're probably like Corley what the hell okay and some people have like the most aesthetically pleasing mood boards and I am pulling up with bread so what are we going to do now the reason why there's bread on my mood board is because I want to make bread at least like once 
in 2022 like make bread from scratch like flour and things like that's what i want to do and like i know that making bread is like a mission and so i want to do it at least once possibly i would like to do it at least like three to four times from during the year but i want to make bread and it's like it's a weird goal but it's a goal you know <laughs> next is fiverr so if you guys don't know you don't have to know but i'm offering time management services on fiverr and i would like to have a few customers because i think that the way i've been able to time manage in my life lately for like the latest three quarters of the year is something that is really impressive to me it's really it's impressed me a lot and i think i can really help people with that ability and get paid well doing so then i have a quote by miss oprah winfrey it says passion is energy feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you i think it's important that i always do things that i want to do that i never do things that i don't want to do and always do things i want to do okay and that's really important to me next is actually a quote from aristotle it says through self-discipline comes freedom i have realized this year that although motivation is something that is often talked about for me it's discipline that's gotten me through things like because i'm not always motivated and i think that's a very human thing obviously to not always be motivated but i often i would say lack motivation but one thing that i don't lack is discipline and so being able to do every single thing i've done this year is because i've been disciplined sometimes because i've been motivated but mostly because i've been disciplined and so i really think it's important for me to highlight that and i think it's important for like viewers and people that don't know to know that motivation is so up and down and that's normal because you're not always going to feel motivated to do something but discipline is an ability that you learn it's something that you develop and i'm not trying to be all like productivity coach and everything i'm just saying it like it is for me it's my discipline my ability to be like that has allowed me to do anything that i've done this year and be like so happy with what i've achieved i have some pr lists that I'd like to get on this year and some sponsorships that I'd like to get this year. If you guys are interested, like I'm gonna give you a few of the PR lists. NYX, call me. I use all your products. I would like to be on NYX, Kaleidos, ColourPop, Huda Beauty, Be Perfect, Fenty Beauty, Artist Couture, Glam Light, Lorac Pro, Glisten Cosmetics, Rare Beauty, Maybelline, Beauty Bay, or else. List. My dream sponsorships, I would say Case Defy, Sandbird, Sephora, Colourpop, Boohoo, and BoxyCharm. What I've done is that I've left some space for more. So like if I like get more ideas or things that I really want to include, I can include them. That was all. I am so this was so long. This video is always long, by the way. I'm just telling y'all. So I'm gonna put this on my mood board and I'm going to like just tape everything together and i'll kind of show you guys the final look i'm also going to create a digital version of my mood board and put it on my like lock screen on my ipad i do see my mood board every day which i think is a great great way of being reminded of your goals but my ipad is also something that i open every day and i want it to be in my face okay um it's right over here the new mood board is right over here i'm so happy um this is my lock screen can you not see this is the mood board on my ipad and so i just want to like every day i open it i just want to be like eh. we'll always 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 do a mood board because the mood board goes such a long way anyways moving on my goal getter pack by my brand bold planners oh my god this is gonna be a freaking trip is it not so first thing we have is the quarterly planner and every month you get goals the thing with this is that it allows you to kind of have an overview of the year right so a quarterly planner is basically you divide the year into four sections they're called quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four the goals that i put is i put like number goals for example how many followers i want to have on instagram by the end of that month or like things like that and then you get to put like important dates slash deadlines in the little bottom part now i am 100 percent aware that it's hard it's really really hard planning out an entire year and so for me i think it's very important that you have your first quarter planned like during at least during the month of january my only column that is like really filled is the quarter one because it's kind of what i know is going to happen and after what happens in like the first quarter then you're able to like adjust to second third and fourth i did put some kind of like loose uh loose goals like goals that i totally free to like update but yeah so i love a quarterly planner because i love planning planning is my favorite thing obviously next is the monthly overview so the monthly overview has every single day here this is really useful especially if 
you're a scholar because babes, we're not gonna have midterms in January, but like assignments and things like that could be really helpful. You get to put your monthly goals, your to-do list for the month and your quote of the month. I already showed you, this is the mood board template. Something that I really love about my mood board template is that you get the achievements little section here. And for me, the achievement section is just really, really important because you, I get to update it throughout the year and be like, oh my God, I did that. I did that during the year. I did this, I did that. And I think it's always good to have your achievements close to you because if you ever need motivation i know we discussed discipline versus motivation but if you ever need some motivation usually like previous success is such such a great help next this one i'm not going to use because i don't have any projects i'm doing right now but this is a project planner okay i really like this one it contains a project deadline partner slash collaborators sponsors slash resources steps slash short-term goals the deadlines for those shorter goals there's like a brainstorming section there's a why is this project important to me and there's a notes section i love this i really really love this for any i don't know how to say but i really really like this planner i like how i made it because i think it's going to be so useful for people that like need that kind of help when it comes to like planning i'm so sorry by the way i'm very cold next is the manifestation cheat sheet so if i bring it closer you can see there's different sections there's four lines per section the first section is i'm grateful for i'm focusing on i'm worried about i'm visualizing and daily affirmations oh but i want to read it to y'all because it's so fucking cute anyways i wrote a little message at the end it goes by the power of your own thoughts you are free to imagine a reality that fits your every needs and wants good luck i'm so cute who made me i want to say thank you so so much for watching this video this is it uh you know the bulk of the video was really like the mood board i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it brought you a little bit of like tips and tricks i hope this was helpful in any way shape or form like i really want you to see how almost like non-important it seems to make a mood board and to put like goals that you want to achieve into picture form i want you to see how sometimes it looks silly like the bread thing is silly but it's an actual goal and let me tell you something like the only things i haven't achieved that were on my mood board were like the the driver's license i didn't get that but that's fine i know why i didn't get that and like my social media goal but everything i was really satisfied with and i think it's really important to know that when you're seeing something constantly every day and it's being deeply engraved into your mind you're you're going to like learn to like it or like learn to enjoy it or whatever it's like it's a really crazy thing but i hope it helped you guys i'm gonna you know plan out my day uh for the next few days if you're watching this i'm wishing you the very best for 2022 the past two years have been very challenging for everyone, but for some people more than others. And I'm just so, 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 so grateful that we made it. We obviously, if you're watching this video, you made it. And so I really want the best for you in 2022. I want you to find everything that makes you happy. I want you to do the most of what you love and to have the least of what you resent. I really want you to put all your energy towards yourself and really caring for yourself and caring for your loved ones and the people around you and just making sure that your little bubble of the world is exactly what you want it to be so if you guys like me my personality or the content i put right up on youtube then feel totally free to subscribe to this channel i really really appreciate you guys watching this video and i will see you next year goodbye